Gemini's Nano Banana AI generation model is here and it's been capturing a lot of attention and not just because of the very, very interesting name, which has a cool story, but because it is absolutely incredible. It's faster, it's more accurate, it's more powerful, especially with some text things it's just absolutely insane and the ability to take characters for example and have consistency among multiple generations is just absolutely unmatched not only all of those things but it's also in kittle so we're going to jump into the editor and check it out ah we're right at home now we're in the kittle editor and we're just going to jump straight in and specifically we're going to be showcasing nano banana in context of using kittle flows as well so i'm just going to use very easy example if i type in anime and find a like an anime character i can look through here and find one let's say this one this one's pretty cool and we're gonna start playing around with our prompting and our styles. So if you haven't used Kittle Flows before, it's very, very easy. All you need to do is click on your artboard and you'll see this little arrow that pops up here, or you can go over to the tools and the right hand bar and click add smart board. I'm just gonna click this arrow right here, shoots me over to the next board, very, very easy. And we can go in here and do exactly what it says in the prompt box, which is describe your variation with a prompt. So I can say change, this character's hoodie to a dark maroon color and let's just start with that and see how it does and in the past generations would take upwards of a minute and now with nano banana it's like 15 seconds or less depending upon what you're asking it to do some more complicated things could take more time but very very simple requests pop up pretty quick and already we've got our new generation and this is extremely accurate i mean like i'm looking at this thing and quite literally the only thing that has changed the hoodie color we have no difference in face no difference in the rest of the artwork she still has the skirt on and the hoodie color has changed to a dark maroon just like we asked it now we can do a couple different things from here we could create another smart board and, and continue to add variations onto this or we could come back and add a smart board from here and you know try out different hoodie colors to see which one we want so we could say change the characters if i can type correctly hoodie color to lime green and then we can start to kind of build out character wearing multiple outfits and that's a super cool application of this it didn't even take the full 15 seconds it took like 10 seconds and we have a character now wearing lime green hoodie i'm going to do one more just for good measure i'm actually going to zoom and bring this up just so we can have a nice little trio here and let's try that again it didn't even take the full 15 seconds and we have our character right here on our nice white background now here's where it gets really really cool we can add smart boards from here and one of the things that i like when adding smart boards is even if you don't go ahead and generate they stay and also if you start typing a prompt like prompt if you start typing your prompt in here and you go back to another smart board and then you come back it doesn't delete it which is really really nice because i can tend to kind of get distracted go different places come back and if it wasn't there i would be you know a little sad but it keeps and preserves all of your prompts until you've actually followed through with your generation which is very very nice so if you're doing some prompt research you want to go to a different tab find some good keywords and come back and do your generation you can absolutely do that so we're going to get a little bit more complex with our uh, prompting here so i can say change the character's pose sitting on a wooden stool with her arms crossed and see how this one does again did not even take the full 15 seconds and this is extremely accurate i mean the shoes are exactly the same shoes that she's wearing she still has the skirt on the hoodie is correct the strings are correct she's still wearing the same handbag it's still the same hair color all the like it, everything is absolutely perfect the details are preserved and all that changed was the pose it's absolutely perfect so i could come down here and say remove the satchel from the character let's try that now this is a good opportunity to insert nano banana is very very good it's very very fast but it still needs to be directed correctly right so we have to be very intentional with our words oh my goodness i mean it's just absolutely fantastic it is the same character 
and I didn't even get that intense with the prompting and, and have to be like, preserve details, don't change face, don't change hair color, or all of this stuff that you had to do in the past, trying to do so much work and just preserving the things that you don't want to have changed. The model is so good at only focusing on the changes that you do want. So let's go down here and say, change the character's pose to sitting Chris cross on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna remove on the ground because I feel like it might try to add ground. It'd be interesting to see if it does do that, but we're gonna try this, just sitting crisscross. Oh my goodness, absolutely fantastic. Same skirt, same colored hoodie, same face, same eye color. Let's keep going with this. Make the character with their hand raised. That's interesting because I don't know if it'll do right side of the screen or their actual right hand because they're technically facing towards the screen. So it'd be on the left. We're going to see. <laughs> I mean, this is fantastic. I came into work today not knowing how powerful this tool was. And this is absolutely incredible. The beauty of being able to do this with flows, having a real time timeline of all of this stuff versus just going directly back and forth in like a chat window essentially where you have to be like you remember that that photo that I, I i generated like three generations ago like yeah that one let's change that and you don't have to do that you know you can just go and click on the photo that you want to change let's let's go to this one add a tiara to the character's head i mean like that's just that's just great. Like it's just it's just good. We're gonna do one more for good measure and then maybe jump into another character. Change the character's pose to have both hands on her head. Again, so fast. It looks like they kind of have interpreted like maybe some holding like the hair, which is kind of cool, like taking that creative liberty. And then, you know, from here, if you want to use these images and things, you can just go over here, click convert to image. Maybe you want to remove the background from it so you can have that character isolated and then do whatever you want to do with these different character sets. And I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. I have not seen an AI model this accurate and this fast. We're going to do one more just for the heck of it. We're going to delete this one. Actually, I'm going to show you replace because I, I still love the replace feature and not enough people use it. Let's do another anime character let's try this one so we can just go here click replace and it replaces that character with this one now this one is going to be interesting because we obviously we have a character that is a little bit more obscure because she's in a sitting pose so you see less of her body so i'm interested to see how the ai does with this one we're going to add our smart board and put it up here and say change the characters i spelled it right that time i feel really good about it change the character's pose standing with her arms crossed. I'm gonna also throw in something else here. Change the character's hair color to silver well, and the eyes to green. We're gonna throw it three things. You know, we've gone from one to three, so we're really, really, really stretching the AI's capabilities here. I mean, I mean come on. Like, I mean, I mean, what, what, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what else do you want? What do you, what do you want? I mean, this is just absolutely insane. Let's do it again. Change the character's pose sitting on a white stool with right hand raised. I mean, that's just absolutely insane. I mean, the shadows, the details, the foot up on the little bracket of the stool, keeping all of the... It's just I, like, it makes me upset but it makes me really, really happy. And this is fantastic. And anybody watching this to go try it out, have a lot of fun with this. Even with a free Kittle plan, you still have tokens that you can use to try out this image generation model, as well as a lot of other models we have in here, you can try out and just absolutely have at it. Go have fun, go create, let your mind go wild and just have a good time and try this out. That is Nano Banana in Kittle with Kittle Flows. Be interested to hear your comments about how awesome this is. Drop a comment down 
below and let us know if you've tried it out. If you're not already subscribed to the Kittle YouTube page, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and also like this video as well. If you want this video to reach more people and you want more people creating, it really helps us out for you to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.